Hello and welcome to Ninja Games. Today's video, I am playing Kerbal Space Program. And before I start, I'm just going to say, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, got a new computer, didn't get a hard drive so I could record to it. So I couldn't record videos. It's because I'm an idiot, that's, that's why. Yes, but now that I've got now I've got a hard drive, a new computer, you would be able to expect me to play brand new, brand new games, all that lot. At high graphics, even max probably. Um... It'll be, yeah, just that. <laughs> but so, if you've never played Kerbal Space Program, Kerbal Space Program is pretty much a simulator for you to be NASA. Yep, you get to be NASA. Who doesn't want to be an astronaut? Yeah? <laughs> well, you you get to build your own rocket and then go to space and then choose where you want to go. It's pretty fun. So, let's, I'm going to start a new game for all this. Uh, let's start a new one. And by the way, if you want to buy this game, it's still in the alpha, so I don't know how much it is in the moment. Sorry, I should do more research. Um, at the time when I bought this was a while ago, uh, it was £9. I think it's gone up to about 15 now, so it's still in alpha, so if you want to support the developers, please do. This is on Mac and P Ma Mac on Windows, so yeah, there you go. Let's call this Map Ginger Games. <laughs> Start. Now when you create a new save and everything, you get brought to this window. This left one is your space plane hanger, so you can create space planes like the, like the X-Plane series, like the X-15 or X-30, there's some famous ones to say. Uh, this bit here is where you build your spaceships, pretty much. And this one here is your tracking station, so you can have multiple rockets in launch. There could be satellites, there could be things around, in certain orbits around different planets, moons, all that lot. Uh, so if yeah, that's pretty good and useful, but this is a brand new save so I can't use that. So I'm going to use the middle one instead, which is the vehicle assembly building, which is where I'm going to create a spaceship. And uh, when I first start to create a spaceship, uh, I need to choose which capsule I need. Will it have contain people inside it, will it or not, be like, or sh like, like a satellite, or be a proper spaceship? And I know I'm speaking quite fast here, but if I am, um, let's say I'm going to have one Kerbal in here, which is this little people, these little people, yay. I'm going to choose this one, which is, is, is light, it's about point, it says 0.8, I'm guessing that's in tons. Uh, let's put that, there we go. This is nice and big, so I can move things around by clicking it with my left mouse button and move it around like this. And if I scroll up, I can go, oh, scroll up, I think, go up. There we go. Now, what I need to do is, before I build any of the rockets or fuselages or engines, I'm going to put safety features on it. For instance, a parachute might help. Where's a good parachute? There we go. Oh, that's big. That's the big one. Oh, I need that one. Nope, that's the bigger one as well. Is that the small one? Yeah, that's the smaller one. <laughs> I can never remember. I always use the big, build, the big ships. Okay, okay. Oh, that's built. And as you build them, you see these green blobs, and that's where you can attach stuff to. Now that I've got that on, I'm going to I'm going to create something so I can go from different stages, so I can dis detach from it. So they will be in my not that one. I can never remember. Is it not control? It's what is it proportion? I can, sorry, I never remember this. I always guess. Yes, yeah, instructional. <laughs> Uh, and a stack decoupler, which one would it be? A decoupler? Is that one? Yes, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, I can never remember this. So there you go, there's a nice little ring thing. This, When I click the space bar, it'll use that stage, in, use all the different stages in order. Okay, now I'm going to put a SAS module on. I always put them at the top because I can. Uh, the SAS module is something that keeps. Uh, your rocket stable so it doesn't shake from side to side or anything when it's going up because when your rockets go at speed they can become, become unstable and these are like gy act as the gyroscope effect it, it's, a, it's pretty, pretty fancy um, what do I need now let's see I need a rocket I need some rocket fuel um, let's go with this oh, it's too big that one yeah that's perfect so this is going to be my last, second to last stage, because my last stage is this one. Where, when I come back to Earth, I'll be going on that. This will be my first thing. Well, 
a plan of action is just to get some basic satellite in orbit. Well, not a satellite, just basic capsule in orbit. I shall get rid of that. So, my first stage, this stage here, I'm actually going to have a bit of fuel. So, all I'm just, I'm just trying to get back to Earth. And uh, I think, let's turn the angle snapping on. I need a good, good, good engine, but does it. it not too powerful. Let's, is that a good one? It's a very powerful one though, isn't it? Yeah. So what about... No. I can never remember. Oh, I can never think. I just guess. I hope it works. Oh, that's a big one. What about that one? Ah, uh, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's good enough. I know that one's good. So this is one that I'm going to kind of change my orbits so it's it's stable and change it. Oh, actually, and it's good like that. And what else we're we going to do? I'm going to put another one of these decouplers on it, which is instructional, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Nope, that's the small one. I don't want that. I want a big one. And that, in the newer versions, they actually just hide this like the engines for you. It's very nice. Go away. Go away. I don't want that junk there. Chuck, chuck away. There you go. Next, we need to do the third to last. I'm just going to call it stage three now. I can't be asked. I'm going to say it in back or backwards order. <laughs> right now, I need some more fuel tanks. I think I might change it so it's. It, I can go onto the bigger rockets because the bigger rockets will give me a lot more fuel and a lot more oomph, as I'd say. But before I change onto it, I'm going to put another SAS module on to keep the stability. There we go. Now let's put bigger fuel tanks on. So let's get one of these big ones. Yeah, put that. Let's put three on. Yeah, that'll be good enough. I know I don't need all this to get into space. This will probably get me to the moon and back. Well, the moon, as it's called, the moon, or however you're supposed to pronounce it. Yeah, that's about three. Be good enough. And now let's get the biggest engine I can get, which is I think is it Big Bertha? That one. It's big. Look how big that is compared to the little one. Now, this will this will get me quite high, but have you seen on normal rockets? You may have seen those big orange ones on like the when they had the sat, sat uh, when they had the um what are they called the spaceship ones? Yeah, the orange bits on them. <laughs> yeah, they're the, they're called booster rockets. Now, booster rocket. I should oh, I could always have it. Oh, actually, are these? I can never remember are these better or not. How much fuel does that have? How much does that one do? But it's much, much heavier. Uh, they do look cool. Like, nah, I won't use them. I'll just I'll keep it. So, sorry, where was it? Yeah, boost rockets. <laughs> and then boost rockets. Um, I'm going to put some radial decouplers, which aren't the linear decouplers like these are. Radial decouplers go around the radius of it. Yeah, I get it. Clever. It's a bit of structural, isn't it? There's the radio decoupler. I'm gonna have three boost rockets. So I put three times symmetry at the bottom left here. And I'm gonna put it about. Let's put this orientation of symmetry like that. So there we go. So we got my top stage, the decoupler, middle stage decoupler, other stage decouplers. Now on these decouplers I'm going to place some booster rockets, which, there's some good ones. There you go, it's, um, if I zoom out by doing this, that's just holding the middle mouse button and dragging out. That looks pretty good so far, not very rockety, but it's good. I'll zoom in now. Actually I'll just I'll pull these a bit further, further forward down. Make my moment of my, uh, moment of inertia a bit lower. Good. This is rocket science, by the way. Don't be put off. But if you want to do any of the clever stuff and figure out and get it perfectly, you're gonna have to do rocket science. Yep. This is cool. Whoever said rocket science was hard. Ash. Yeah. Before I do anything, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save it as call it Kepler One. As you do. No, 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 no. Oh, bull crap. I just deleted it, didn't I? Can I undo? Nope. Nope. 
Oh, we've got to do it all over again. I'll be right back with that. Oh, balls. Oh, sorry about that. I'm not very clever. Saying that how long I've played this game. Oh, the save button's the, the dark blue, isn't it? Yep. Very, 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 um... Clever I am. It's not like... Oh. So, uh, while I'm building this, let's, um... Talk about something else, yes. Uh, let's just build this engine again. Yes. Uh, if you want to want to do any of the clever stuff, and I mean like choose, go to certain orbits, um, get like geo geo uh, what's called geostationary orbits or geostationary orbits is what it's on here, and uh, there's loads of all the other stuff. Get this back up. Oh wait, just remembered one thing. It was all SAS unit. Yeah, um, you're gonna have to use a bit of maths. It's not that hard. There's only about three equations you're going to learn and you can, bit, with a bit of algebra, you can pretty much do anything the three equations you'll need would be um, uh, Kepler's third law, Newtonian's uh, laws of gravity and Hoffman transfers that's about it you can learn, you can learn other stuff but you can you just do the rest by eye, just guess yeah, loads of these Three of them, I didn't I? Yeah, I had three last time. I like threes. But she might be able to guess. <laughs> there we go. Radio decouplers, where are them? Put three line three lines of symmetry on. Put it further down. Now let's put the boost rockets on. And try and place them as on the thing itself. Like so. Now, I got to this part, I'm going to call it Kepler 1 as I did it before. <laughs> oh, I am. Um, that's how you spell Kepler. Kepler. There we go. Kepler. I. Save. There we go, we saved it. Next, I'm not done yet. I'm going to put some more thumb and I'm going to the aerodynamics bit. Uh, not aerodynamics. Yeah, is it? Need some nose cones for these, not the big ones. Um, they'd be perfect. That just makes it a bit more aerodynamic and look all, look more rockety look looking. That's good. Now, one last thing before I do anything is if I put change. If I can do one here, these are changing the order I, they go in, and these here, these here are the radial decouplers. Now I'm just going to move them up a stage, and the reasoning behind this is so I can launch the booster rockets and the main engine at the same time. Yeah, it's just helpful as well. But before I do that, I'm going to add something like, as you know when these are called stabilizers, these only came in the new versions. And I'm saving that again. Dark blue button this time. <laughs> and these will make my orbit stable for you and all that lot. It's so, so you can get the rockets up to full capacity before you even start. And I think that's about done. That should um, get me up there. I don't think I need anything else. I'll probably put some fins on. Ah, oh, why not? Make it even more rockety. Actually, where's the big ones? Big one, well, bigger. Yeah, let's put, are they bigger? Yeah. There we go, they look cool, a mix look. Uh, are there any really big ones? Can I remember? Are they the big ones? Yeah, the bigger ones. Now it looks like a missile, it looks awesome. So there it is. Now, I think this will be done for the first episode, so stay tuned for the next one where I just launch this. Stay tuned for it, and goodbye.